power functions formally. I have a formal definition of a power function that can have roots. All right, so that can be a power function with roots or negative power. So it's a special, so power functions, there are special types of power functions that can have roots, which are called rational exponents, all right, the root function, or they can be negative values all right, as well. All right, so power functions are any, so a power function in general, all right, f of x equals a x to the n, as long as n is real and not zero as a power function. If n is a fraction or decimal, it's a root case. If n is negative, it's the rational case. All right, but they're all power functions. All right, so power function can just be just a general power function, which actually are simple polynomials. Or if you have a fractional power, it's a root case. Or if it's a negative power, they're simple rational functions, right, which again, we've talked about polynomials and simple rational functions. All right, so just more formalize these last two sort of special cases. All right, so if we have our power function, some f of x where I've got, it's always a single term. So there's one x value makes a power function. So I've got x raised to some power, right, where b is my constant, my power. All right, well, b actually could be anything, but if it is a fraction, one over n, so if it's a fraction value, it's also a root function. So my power function, x to the n, x to the one over n, is the root function, is my root function. All right, that is also a power function. It's a special power function. All right, irrational functions when it's negative, right? If my power is negative, whatever that power is, if that power comes out negative, well, then that's the rational function case because x raised to a negative is really one over that value and I get a rational, a simple division case. All right, so in general, the power function is any function where I've got some x raised to a number, and that number can be anything, as long as it's not zero, it can be positive, it can be negative, it can be a whole number, it can be a fractional number, it can be a negative number. Like I just said that once. All right, and again, we typically look at this form, so this would be the general form. So f of x is the general form ax to the n. If n is a positive integer, it's a polynomial. It's a one-term polynomial. If n is a fraction, it's a root function, square root, cube root, whatever root it is. If n is negative, it's a rational. And we're gonna look at the graphs of the, the different three different cases for power functions. So there's three different types of powers I can have out. I can have the polynomial power case where I've got just positive integer values, so they're polynomial cases. I have the fractional, which are the weirder cases, and then the negative, which are the rational cases. So we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the different graphs of these functions. All right, and I'm gonna take them each by each, actually I think it's slightly different order. I think I do the integer case, the rational case, and then the root case, because we've actually already talked about earlier in chapter four, both rational functions and polynomials. And so when I have a simple power function, and it's just a simple number like two, three, four, five, positive number, it's a polynomial case. If it's a negative two, negative three, negative four, it's the rational function case. If it's a fraction, it's the root case. And we're gonna look at examining the graphs of those and what they look like in all three different cases, and we'll do that in the next video.